I'm feeling high. Everybody. I'm grateful to have you here watching this video unfold. Essentially the plan of action for today is to go to Hootstilshe, I'm certain I'm saying that right, at St James's Quarter. Some of their other locations are in Manchester, Leeds, Birmingham, Liverpool and Bradford. And as of October this year, another restaurant opened in Edinburgh. Their menu consists of desserts and drinks which include granola bowls, fruit mocktails, milkshakes, fondue, waffles and crepes. I initially saw Hannah Scrans over on Instagram and underscore halal foodies on TikTok showing off their desserts. Their products are halal certified and their desserts are also vegan, vegetarian and gluten free. So overall a very accommodating experience for pretty much any any customer. I'm excited to take you along with me to try out a few sweet treats on their menu and put my two pence in whether or not I think it has a creative and luxurious feel to it. I'm I think I'm going to go for the signature collection, the Fruits of the Forest, along with a cookie dough and... One minute, 37 seconds later. A French crepe as well.
everything in here looks amazing. It's presented so nicely. I'm going to go for a crepe and cookie dough dough. Although this one, the mine and yours looks amazing. I don't know if I'd put it all, so I'll go for those two, I think, and a fruit mocktail, either the mango or the berry one, the raspberry and strawberry one. I think I'm going to go for a chocolate shot as well. I feel like treating myself. Ta-da! this attempt of a vlog style video. I stand by video when more naturey scenic landscapes. However, I do like to branch out with filming different content overall, so I figured I would give this style a go. Do let me know which video you, you would prefer, as I do enjoy reading feedback and just to gauge a general understanding of what you prefer. Out of what I ordered, the chocolate shot was a nice addition. I would get that if I fancied it on the day, but my favourite, I think, was... Uh, I loved everything, but my favourite would have to have been the berry mocktail and the, the crepe. I, I did like the cookie dough, but I also felt as though you did get more for what you paid from getting the crepe and I liked how both came with ice cream and the chocolate to just a lot of pop that was in the crispy dough. Overall the staff were very attentive, we even helped the door open on the way out. The ambience was very elegant. You feel like you're really treating yourself by going in there. I could definitely see myself coming back more for a special occasion. The food was beautifully presented. I almost felt spoiled for choice by going in there. I consider myself to have very much so a sweet tooth hence why I could get as much as I did and finish it funnily enough <laughs> when I return here I would likely go for the dessert and offer she can't refuse which is the infamous waffle and I believe it's a waffle what waffle chocolate sauce everybody who has ever been there I feel like has tried that who has went there more than once and I would try another fruit mocktail such as the mango one. Thank you so much for staying by me and I shall hopefully see you again.